Hi, so I'm Nicole. Um, uh, as previously, previously mentioned, uh, back in 2012, my four month old son, he was involved with an accident, which sadly meant he lost his life. Um, but previous to that, we'd had miscarriages and after that, and um, as life evolved, uh, my younger, my eldest son ended up getting into arguments with adults to prove that his baby brother existed. Um, and so it, my husband's in the military, so we move around quite a bit and we very quickly recognized that bereavement support is a bit of a postcode lottery. Um, and depending on where you are in the world, depends on the amount of support you get. We were really lucky that when my son Ben died, um, we had the Scottish Cot Death Trust step in, even though it wasn't their remit. They took us under their wing and we were supported. Moving down to London, um, that support wasn't there um, and then moving around. So I got, as very many bereaved people do, get a bit angry with the system or get upset or try to change it. Um, and so I made a little purple heart with a jigsaw piece missing just to represent that I'm a bereaved parent and um, to highlight the name Veloma, which is the name for a bereaved parent, because society as a whole says, oh, that grief's too big. We don't deal with that. It's not even got a name. And it does. So I've spent the last four years sort of trying to raise the profile of bereaved parents and make a community and do similar to what the Good Grief Trust does of signposting, but just for the bereaved parents. And then um, in the last 16 months, I've lost three grandchild uh, grandparents. Um, and that grief is exactly the same. <laughs> um, yes, uh, the, lo the loss of my son is imprinted it's fundamentally changed to as I am as a person but the impact of the sudden loss of my grandparents triggered all of those emotions and um and it hit me really hard that we need to be talking as a whole and when my friend Maxine who is helping with the um the national grief awareness week contacted me and said can what do you think especially now I'm back in Scotland and the resources in Scotland are incredibly different to that in England um, and the logistics the, ge the geographical locations of everyone are very different and I'm very fortunate that with the work I've been doing uh, I have done work in parliament and things like that so I in, since speaking to Linda and uh, a few weeks ago we have started the ball rolling with MSPs and um, getting them on board because I think especially after the last 18 months I think the whole of the world not just the UK needs to be allowed a moment of recognition that we're all allowed to be sad and grief mm -hmm. is normal and actually really healthy and if we stunt it all we do is kick the can down the road we don't actually um, get anywhere and um, in my work that I've been doing no matter who you are or what your story is if the moment that somebody genuinely asks if you're okay is the moment that you genuinely feel cared for when Hannah you were talking before about holding your own grief in to be able to be there for other people I think um sadly because my son's accident I I was involved with the accident um, I felt a lot of responsibility for that and there'll be so many elements and ties in everybody's grief journey that is the same you hold your own to be able to protect and honor other people's spaces and whilst that's really great for everyone else you're left holding your own um, and I think if we as a uh, listening to everybody's stories we all are doing our own amazing thing and I see in these the amount of people on this call and how brilliant this is I think it's needed welcomed and I love the fact that we're going to glow up <laughs> glow up in grief I think it's brilliant Aww. so yeah I'm fully on board and very excited and I think the world needs it oh 